So a lot of the guys, they will ask me before to create also a script for the Nix OS for my Hyperland DATS. And honestly, before I didn't know how to do it. But I came across or I started playing around with Zany OS and they give me an, an idea how to install it and how to I approach to install the DATS. And of course, uh, I give a credit to Tyler here, creator of the Zany OS. Um, Zany OS, by the way, it's a Hyperland on Nix OS, which is all written on Nix language, including the configs. So if you're looking for a fully, fully written in Nix language, a Hyperland on Nix OS, then I suggest you check out his Zany OS. It's a good distro. The only difference between uh, his and mine is, of course, it's um, my or the configuration or the dots are not written in Nix, where it's, it's it is saved it's saved on the home folder in that config. It's the same dots that I'm sharing it on my other distros uh, into Hyperland install script. Now, of course, there are three ways or two ways that you can install Nix OS. One is via the GUI. You download a a, a GNOME from NixOS website and then you install via Calamares either choosing with a GNOME, Plasma or no desktop environment or of course by the command line which is uh, either way you can you just need to install a NixOS and and by the way the restriction here is there's a minimum requirement of 40 gigabyte at least because on my test 30 gigabytes is you coming too close to where it feels 20 gigabytes is also not enough so I suggest 40 gigabytes at least 60 gigabyte is a minimal or not minimal is what I suggest if, of course if you have a bigger space then that's also better because NixOS it's using a lot of a space because it's downloading a lot of the packages to the store Okay, there are three ways for you to install this uh, this script. One is via the automatic installation using this, or manual here, wherein you need to to clone and copy and so on. Uh, this is recommended here on the first one, automatic installation. If you're still new and you still don't know what has been like uh, like you don't want to do anything initially but I rec what I do recommend is alternative here is we clone the repo and then we also customize which we're gonna do that now so first is of course log in as a user now for the automatic installation you just need to type in sh and then curl capital L and of course github raw very important main and then nix os hyperland this one now once you enter this it will automatically download the uh, script and it will install nix os and the hyperland sorry it will install everything including the dots now what I said before is to just clone it of course you need git but if you don't have git no problem you can just execute nix shell dash p git vim if you want to use vim and pci utils because this will detect the your card especially for the NVIDIA users I just enter and then now you can do is uh, clone git clone or wait uh, yeah git clone https github.com mix os Hyperland now of course be mindful about the uppercase letters 
and then you add in dep1 this will only download all the latest commits otherwise your download file will be big and then you need to make sure to download it into your um, home folder and especially also same name here because later on part of the script it will call back to this uh, directory okay now we're there now we go cd it oops and you just press tab and by the way ls see i only i only have this one and then also if we check the default configuration see there's not so much that i set up here i will show you So as you can see in here, I only set up the bootloader, networking also, and then of course the username, and then I also install already this WBM git beam and PCI utils. So that's it, it's very very small. So now let's go to the folder that we just downloaded. And then what we need to do is we need to change the file here inside the host or we need to if you want to customize and then she have the default ls and then you just need to change this config.nix now here you can customize the packages and then also if you want to change for if you have a grab as your bootloader then obviously you need to put this to false or put a comment by putting this and then of course uncomment here now if you have also a separate uh, EFI then you need to mount that obviously or it has to be mounted then you also uncomment this okay then of course you can check here you can remove the packages you can um, add anything so once you're happy with that but it's very important only here on the only here on the uh, host directory no need to do anything the once you're happy then you need to execute the install.sh not the auto install because this is the automatic install which I discussed earlier now I just need to uh, let's clear first then you just need to execute this install sh enter then of course go through all in there if you want a new um, host name new next by the way do not put any any space there because otherwise it will only check or it will only take the uh, first word and then your keyword layout I have a US one and there you go now you just need to wait As you can see here it says rebuilding next OS please be patient <laughs> in the meantime you can grab a coffee stretch or something yeah, just make a fun you know <laughs> then just let it let it compile let it uh, install later on when it's downloaded with the dots it will ask you the same questions like uh, if you want a what's your resolution which I will show you later on okay okay now this is part of the where you need to set up also the dots of course it's asking for your keyboard layout if it's right then you can say yes and then of course your monitor resolution resolution if it's higher than uh, 1440p or equal than 1440p then of course choose number two if it's lower than uh, 1080p or equal to 1080p then of course choose one and then by default all the configs are in 24 hour format it's asking if you want to change to a 12 hour format 
I like 24 hour format so I would just no and then also by default the rainbow borders animation is enabled but it's using a lot of the CPU and memory resources so it's asking if you want to reduce or not so I'm just gonna choose yes and then of course if you want to download the whole the wallpapers then you choose yes or no in here all the links of the wallpapers I have put it on the Redmi and we'll choose no here and then of course it will ask you want to reboot then it suggests it's better it's highly recommended to reboot so I would choose reboot here but it's a VM it didn't reboot by itself for some reason and then you'll be greeted with this grid D voila so now hyperland is working and by the way one of the caveats which I noticed is that cursors and the GTK teams they are not loaded see if we, for example here um, the GTK teams are not loaded but however it's there and as you can see here the cursor is also hyperland cursor now you can launch a super D or actually if you're new to my dots you can just press the hints and then here super D or you can press this hyperland uh, icon here so super D this is the app launcher here just gonna close that super D and then type in NW look actually this is the GTK setting so just choose it if you want a dark and of course change the fonts I like fire code and then icon team also and then mouse cursor if you want to change the cursor you can just choose here because this is the one pre-installed that I did and then it will change it later on see the cursor will change after you fully like exit it see here so they also apply the GTK teams okay I'm not gonna go through the whole process in here let me just exit it and by the way yes this is a Nix OS now and it's the same also the logo here see also here and you could see also the let me just make it bigger you could see also here host name and also the host name there is as per your settings of course and then yeah so of course also I will just go back to where you want now once you already have this installed you have the configs also here so you can just take this host I mean if you want to save your configuration so you can save this host modules uh, no need for the assets and then flake that lock flake that next and then you can just copy this to a separate um, folder or directory my nix then of course also inside here you can also already the remove or delete the default anyway so you can change here the way you want and configure the way you want okay and of course uh, this is based from the Zany OS again if you want a fully fully um, wait, the wallpapers GTK teams are here and also the wallpaper repo is here that's what it asked you earlier and then of course the that file switch is just we downloaded it here this is on a centralized one which I use is also for 
for all the uh, distro that I am sharing, Arch, Fedora, Debian, OpenSUSE, and Ubuntu. Okay, so there you have it. You have now the Hyperland that's, or the Cools Hyperland that's on NixOS. So if you have any questions, uh, you can ask me on the comment section or you can join my Discord wherein we also can discuss in there. That's preferably because we can, you know, attach files. And if you like this video, please like and please consider subscribing. So till again next time, enjoy guys and take good care. Bye.